Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 48, and this is war number six. And we're going up against an alliance called Doom 89. All right. Let's see, first of all, who they banned. Why you ban my bishop? Um, got Wiccan and Domino banned. Okay. Now, let's see what they have planned. There's our old favorite, Future Ant-Man. So that's Magneto right there. Okay, now, uh, interesting, and they're pro I would have to assume they're running the ouchies, so I need to make sure I go in, hmm, that could be interesting. I probably want a mutant, what mutant, I guess that's why they, they did a uh, bishop, so I will look and see who other, what other mission, um, mutant i have that is an ex magica and then of course we have guillotine 2099 not that difficult to deal with uh she does get an armor up so we got to be careful of that hulkling can handle that and then we've got danny moonstar hmm and that's who we're fighting right now in the Winter of Woe, which I haven't done yet. Maybe I should do that first so I can learn how to evade her uh, special. Oh, we got Big Daddy Apaco over there. See, I want to use um, my Lady Deathstrike. Lady Deathstrike could do the Danny and do the uh, Apoc. Let's see. I could use Hulkling for that future Ant-Man, but I'm not gonna. This will be interesting. Well, Magneto is a definite. And I guess Hulkling is a definite. Hulkling should be able to take those two. So the last one is going to have to counter that Elsa. And, hmm. Just thinking, who else? You know, that's right, it's raid week, isn't it? I could bring Hercules. I might do that. Instead of uh, Hulkling. Yeah, Hercules should be able to handle that um, guillotine 2099, should be able to handle the Danny, and should be able to handle that um, APOP. Then Magneto for the future Ant-Man, and then I just need to bring somebody for uh, Elsa. So that's what we're going to do. Magneto... Hercules, and then someone for Elsa. All right, let's get to the fighting. All right, so as you can see, I'm going in with Magneto, Iceman, and Hulkling. So Iceman is an ex magica attacker. So that's perfect. Um, he's mutant, so he can handle Elsa. Uh, in case, and I'm assuming if they put Elsa on defense, that they're running the uh, ouchy masteries, okay? So I assume that there's no way I was going to go into that fight without a mutant. And uh, I opened up a, a bunch of uh, crystals and got boosts. Um, I had forgotten that I had these uh, Alliance War uh, boost crystals. And I was actually trying to get some of the uh, 20 percenters, but ended up getting uh, a bunch of these here, as well as the uh, silver ones. So you can see here, I got a bunch of these 20 percenters. I'm like, oh, okay, that works. 
so I'll, I'll be using those probably for the rest of uh, this season anyway. And I still have, um, I think, about 20 of those crystals left. But you can see I have some in the stash now, and that's why. Also, a little teaser. Next war, we have a future Ant-Man on that node, and I don't use Magneto. All right, so here we go. And I'm looking here, and I'm like, wait, are they running? The ouchies. I don't see a bleed. And I don't see a poison. Either of those things. So I'm a little confused at this point, right? I'm like, alright, well, Iceman is tearing it up. So, no problem there. That's why I wanted to, you know, uh, rank him up. Look at this. He's just doing his work. I might have to bring Iceman up a little bit. Um, but anyway, so here we go. Doo -doo -doo. And then she died. Beautiful, beautiful. Why would you put Elsa on defense and not run the ouchies? But that's okay because soon um, we're going to have, I think, in uh, April... We're going to have loadouts, mastery loadouts, and you're going to be able to select the loadout that you want to go for your defense without needing to switch. All right, so we start off with a heavy to get her Digicloak on cooldown, and then we just kind of work her over. We don't have to worry about her special one because she can't drain um, Hulkling, but I still like to push her to a special uh, two anyway. All right, so let's get it. Come on. Throw it. Throw it. There you go. You want to dash back at least three times and then counter with a heavy. You don't have to worry about it. Woo! Look at all that damage. Nasty. Hulkling is definitely my war MVP, and he has been for this season, last season. I think the season before that, definitely happy that I took him up and ascended him. Well worth it. I've gotten so much use out of him. Um, but anyway, so this fight here is why I brought Magneto. And this might be the last fight you see this fight in particular. Just another teaser for the next war video. But this fight, pretty straightforward. You know, now there, I kind of rushed it. Um, I didn't wait for his uh, armor to, you know, go away, but didn't really bother it that much. And you just want to parry heavy. In fact, uh, if you never want to throw a special, you don't have to. He will go down, just parry heavying. My Magneto is SIG 200, so I get extra damage on my heavy attack. So, look at him. I haven't fired a single special. And he's at 45% health. I just like finishing the fight with a, a, you know, special three. I don't have to. Now, I need to let that armor up go down. There we go. So I can uh, not glance. Because that's really annoying. And see here? It don't matter. I can just fire the special three. I just like finishing it with a special three. I didn't have to. Um, and as good as he does, we'll see. We'll see uh, who else I choose for that future Ant-Man. Which is good. It's nice to have options. You know, if they ban um, Magneto, I can still take that future Ant-Man. Now, this fight made me laugh a little bit because Winter of Woe, the current Winter of Woe that I just did is against Danny Moonstone. And they forced us to learn how to dex her special two. And I do know how to dex it, but I'm not 100% on that. And I'd rather not. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, 
bait out her special ones whenever we can. Okay, I got um, two bars of power, so you know what I want to do. And then I saw that, and I was like, oh, well, that's not going to work. Okay, well, we'll just do it this way then. Because what I was trying to do is I was going to hit into her block, build up to an unblockable, and then fire my special too. And she started going, woof, woof. I said, oh, that's right. All right, and here we go. Now she got her special two. Ah. There we go. Woo. There you go. So during the Winter of Woe, I would do that sometimes, and it wouldn't let me move. And so I'm like, man, I don't want to deal with that if I can help it. But as you see, I was able to avoid most of the damage. Not a full clean um, evasion, but it worked. And we got her done. All right. Now, this next one. Oh, wait. Actually, that was it. Because someone took my... Um, they took my mini. I was supposed to fight Apocalypse, and somebody else fought the Apocalypse. So that was it for this war uh, for me. All right, so we'll be back in a minute, and you'll find out how this war ended. And we're back, and as you can see, we won this war. All right, so... Doing, we're doing okay. We're doing okay this season. Let's uh, take a look here. Uh, another thing that Kabam has changed, put us all on notice, diversity, you want full diversity. The amount of points that you get for full diversity is way more than any advantage you get for doubling up defenders. So you don't want to double up defenders. It's just not worth it anymore. I think it's like nine, time, uh, nine times the points that it currently is, uh, is right now. Anyway, that is going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Take care. Hit the like button. Look forward to my next video. And leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.